Hey, what's going on guys? I've been meaning to do this video for a while now. Just haven't found the time really to do it. Been busy with work, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a video how to hook up subs on a uh, 1999 second generation S10. Show you how I ran it and that's about it. And I'll give you guys a little sound test at the end of it. But yep, I'll show you guys what's up. All right, so what I did was obviously power wire it's right here we went around it like that and then it comes down where it comes down to is uh, right down here all the way down i need to zip tie that i got some extra zip ties i know people have me like that's super dinky and you left a lot out there i've just been lazy recently haven't put the sing, uh, super thick ones that I got for it yet. So I need to put those on, but it runs all the way up there and then do the back of the uh, extra cab. And comes out through the back, power wire comes out right there. Then we got the ground right there. I had it running through a capacitor and didn't like how it sounded through the capacitor so I uh, disconnected it and just did a straight shot. I have the big three anyway, so I'm not really worried about using a capacitor, but I left it right there. I didn't want a bunch of holes showing. It's just a little pet peeve of mine. If anyone has uh, any tips on how uh, I can maybe cover the holes, I don't want to caulk it and then it looks all stupid. But if anyone has any tips, let me know. But that's how they look. I'll get it from the other side too, so you guys can check it out. how they look and then um also i wasn't gonna forget about that guys i ran the uh, rca cables all the way underneath the door jams then underneath the dash then i fed it to the back of the radio so it's a nice clean look so yeah that's basically how it looks no wire is really visible at all other than of course when you're looking in the back of the extra cab but even then if I was to be driving like such, you really still can't see him. I gotta have to like look over to see him. And then I just put the ground right there to the cab of the truck. I might eventually drill another hole and take the ground straight from the amp to the frame. Cause right now, uh, occasionally I'm coming across humming noises here and there. It might be a messed up amp. But that's the only problem I'm really coming across. But they sound great. I'll go ahead and give you guys a little sound test right now. So yeah, that's basically the sound test for it. I know a lot of people are probably gonna be like, man, it doesn't sound the greatest. And in all honesty, on the video, it really honestly, excuse my language, sounds like shit in my opinion. The video doesn't really do it justice, but I will admit I need to uh, tune it a little bit better. I need to research. Well, I'm not, uh, dude, I'm not accustomed or uh, familiar with these amplifiers at all in these subs. So I need to uh, learn and figure out how to go ahead and tune this thing up. And it'll sound a lot better, but as of right now, it sounds great. And then I know a lot of people are like, dude, you got that thing sitting on a jack stand. And I make it, I had it so where it doesn't sit like that. It just sits flat. I'll eventually probably put like a two by four underneath of it and then uh, coat it with um, carpet. But for right now, it's, it's the way it is, man. And it works. So I really didn't plan on putting subs in this truck, but then it kind of just fell in my lap out of nowhere. It's all a good deal on it. And I was like, hey, screw it, man. I haven't had subs in a car since my old uh, 90, 91. Yeah. 91 Integra. So I might as well jump the gun and got it. went ahead and got it. But I hope you guys enjoy it. And I know it was a quick video, but that's the whole point. I'm trying to make these videos really quick and simple. And so you guys don't have to deal with a bunch of BS. It's honestly self-explanatory. You just run the power wire, man, and then the ground. And after the ground, you just run the RCAs and the speaker wires to the amp and whatnot. It's not too hard at all, but 
I hope that video helped you guys out. And if you need any tips or uh, advice or whatever, feel free to comment and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Peace.